Hello guys and welcome back to our highlights from our game against Beaconsfield. Looking ahead at this game, we always knew it was going to be a real test. Currently one of the best teams form-wise in the division, the Rams have secured 14 points from their last 7, conceding just 4 times in that region as well. Since we last played Beaconsfield, we have since added one of their best defenders, Joe Morrison who has been a great addition since joining. 6 minutes into the game, Dan Wooden came inches away from firing his side into the lead. From outside the box, the veteran curled the ball towards the top left of the net, being just too high and going over. Following this effort, an attack led from James Dobson saw the attacker slash an effort against the face of goal, being inches away from giving Beaconsfield the lead. Netting a brace in his last game, Rafa Ramos was close to adding another goal to his tally in the opening 45 minutes. Ramos out muscling Togwell allowed for the striker to get his shot across, with Rowley diving to his right and deflecting the effort out for a corner ball. Unfortunately, Gosport couldn't make anything with the corner, and the half finished Gosport nil, Beaconsfield nil. Despite there being few chances in the first half, the next interval couldn't have gone off to a much entertaining start. Immediately, shots got underway, with Ramos being thrown a deep ball, late to Saint in an effort wide. Ten minutes into the second half, the Rams broke the deadlock. Dobson from range for Studian to make an outstanding save to deny the goal, but from the corner, a ball hit into the near post found the head of Neville, with the skipper heading home to make it 1-0. Seconds later, Burrow rapidly responded by getting their equaliser. Dancing his way into the Beaconsfield box, Ramos eventually pulled the trigger by slotting the ball home to put us back onto level terms. Once again, Beaconsfield brute attacking force led to the visitors getting another goal. McElroy from 20 yards out slashed a powerful shot towards goal. Stu did get in front of the shot, but too much power on the shot saw it overturned into the back of the Burrow net. Burrow did show a good fight, desperately trying to find another equaliser. This time a lovely run from Tarbuck allowed for him to deliver a cross into the head of substitute Alfie Stanley at the back post, with Stanley heading wide from yards out. Wanting to finish off the contest, Dobson was the man who nearly got the wayside's third of the night. Through on goal, the attackers struck an effort towards the bottom corner, colliding with the post and returning back to Gosport possession. In added time, Gosport couldn't have come much closer to grabbing an equaliser. A knuckleball from Ramos with a crazy amount of curl forced Rowley into making a wonder save. Dan Wooden on the follow-up couldn't finish the effort thanks to another save from the young keeper, and ultimately this secured the three points for Beaconsfield as it finished Gosport 1, Beaconsfield 2. Losing just our second game at home this season, this could be a big blow in our race to secure that second place spot. We will be hoping to bounce back at Paul this Wednesday, but final words from me, up the borough.